So I want to take a few minutes to show you how quick Business Center Heavy Construction Edition is with determining the volume of material below or above a certain elevation. So what I have here is a project where I have brought in PDF files and I've digitized in the outline of the building and I offset that building down to generate a, a really what's going to be the whole of the area or the excavation for this particular project. I also digitized in the existing ground uh, data and generated an original ground surface that you see here. So when I turn that on and off, you can see the data that was used to develop that surface. If I turn on the basement surface and turn off the original ground, you can see the information that I'm using for that particular site. So let's turn off these other layers so you can just see the basement information. Now, additionally, what we put in was we entered in some boring information. So I brought in the boring log map, brought in the uh, uh, PDF for that, that boring, and then using the tools inside of Business Center, I defined a strata, defining my layers of material, and then entered in my boring information, my boring logs. So I was, it came in here. And I entered in the boring information for each level of strata from the boring logs. When I did that, what ended up being created was a surface for my shale. Let's turn off the basement so you can see this. The surface for the gypsum layer or the rock layer. Also the clay layer as well as the sands. So what I need to determine and what I've been asked to determine is how much gypsum is within the basement and how much gypsum needs to be excavated. So you can see here visually I can look at this um, in 3D and in 2D. I can look at it in a cross section view as well. But what I need to determine is the amount of material in here. So if I go and use the earthwork report I can choose either surface to surface so I can determine, you know, compare two surfaces together. I can do a stockpile or depression. But I'm going to use this surface to elevation command. My surface is gypsum, and I'm entering in an elevation that is the bottom or the bottom of my excavation for this particular project. I'm just going to go ahead and click on. Oh, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and select the boundary because I'm only am concerned about what's in the boundary of the excavation. So when I click OK to that, it comes up and it gives me a report and it shows me that below that elevation in that boundary, I have about 600 or 700 cubic yards, but above it, I have about 2,200 cubic yards that needs to be excavated out of that particular project. Another use for this tool is to determine maybe the volume of a pond. So here I have a pond, I have a surface, and what I want to do is use the earthwork report. I'm going to do the surface to elevation. I'm going to choose the surface that I want to compare to. And I'm going to assign an elevation. Or in my case, I just happen to pick the top contour elevation. In this case, 281. And then did the same thing for the boundary. OK. And when I click OK, It's going to tell me that below that line or that elevation within this pond I have 7284 cubic yards so that would determine how much pond volume can be filled or water can be put into this pond again this is just a quick example but I just want to show you how easy this was without doing a whole lot of extra work to learn more about business center heavy construction edition contact your local SciTech dealer